Yo, what's good? It's your boy Yankee two times. It's your boy X, man. Yeah, man. Today we're gonna be reacting to the eight at the tail we ain't reacting this in a while. Said so, ladies with money love broke hood dudes. Why? Before we get this video, make sure y'all like, make sure y'all share, make sure y'all subscribe, man. Here's it. Paying all the bills. I'm paying all the bills. I'm fixing you up. I'm getting you out the gutter. I'm clean. I'm fixing your teeth. I done got you good. Like Not like the bullshit like cap. Women now, right now, 2021, nurse, all of these girls that's out here calling themselves bad bitches mm -hmm. with the wonderful job. Nurses. I actually heard some dudes talk about this before where they was like, like yo guys, you ever want to find a place to um <laughs> to uh find some women? Wherever them nurses hang out at, uh -huh. be there. Yeah. Dead. Them nurses is the freaky joints. Cause they probably professional at the hospital, but mm -hmm. once them take them scrubs off, man. Shit, you can take something else off them. You know what I'm saying? Us with the great careers and nurse and all this type of stuff. A lot of them are dating brothers that are that they're fixing. A lot of women right now. A lot of my friends. Put the camera. At, my friends <laughs> okay. are out here dating men that they gotta help and assist with their life. A lot of us are settling under the table with things we would not we don't really want right. because of society because the finance for women is a bit higher especially in new york city it's a bit higher so a lot of I don't, I, like i don't know if like, i agree with that because i've never met a nigga that was being taken care of by a shorty mm -hmm. i've heard niggas being taken care of by their shorty for a certain period of time mm -hmm. but for an extended period of time like shorty been taking care of him for like five years I ain't never heard no stories like that. Never. And if a shorty's been taking care of you for five years, that's because you're probably you'd probably rather work a job. Than have the to amount do. of stress that yeah. you're about to be putting down on your ass. <laughs> about the the amount of shit you probably got to deal with while mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying. I mean, but not not for nothing. If a woman has had to take care of you for five years, what would you you settled in, my man? Yeah, yeah. you settled in. You chilling. You like I don't got to do shit. You too relax. But it's always funny though because to like to hear like women explain like here to talk about this type of stuff because again, if we reverse the roles, mm -hmm. everybody and their mama gonna hear about how this woman is taking care of this man, mm -hmm. but. If you put it in reverse, a man taking care of a woman who doesn't have her stuff together, doesn't do this, doesn't do that, that's a, that's most scenarios of a man taking care of a woman is she may not have all her stuff together, but he does. Mm -hmm. And it's like you never hear us go be like, you never hear men talk about how I do I do this for her, mm -hmm. under enough for her. Mm -hmm. A lot of times things are going to be like, yo, that's just, that's just what you're supposed to do as a man. Exactly. But apparently women ain't allowed to take care of men. It's a big deal, apparently. All right. Well, my question to everybody on this panel would be, how come the people that are established don't 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 deal with each other? How come it's always about a fixer up or a picker up or, or whatever? How come you can't be worth millions and I'm worth millions if we get together? Ain't that what they did? That's what I'm sorry. And and the, and the thing is, and I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with what you're saying, right? See, like, there's a difference between a hundred, two hundred thousand dollars a year. And two to five million dollars dollars a year and with that type when we're talking about like super successful people like you know the actual rich people money brings an attitude and an ego into a person whether you're a man or you're a woman absolutely and the problem is a man and, and see and unfortunately unfortunately lady i feel like y'all have the losing end on this because a man could be rich and have the whole world as their oyster 
but a woman who is rich will not deal with the little crabs and the little lobsters they want somebody of that caliber but a man who is rich but a man who is rich is not going to tolerate the ego and the attitude that comes with a rich woman so yeah unfortunately Neat the picture uppers. That's why the, the right. initial the attitude of a chick that live on the lower east side. We yeah, oh. then, then deal with you thinking that okay, cool. What you gonna do? Walk out and buy another condo. All right, cool. Then once your ego goes, you walk out, you buy another condo. Now we're both single. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get somebody that I know I can depend on. That's not gonna really leave whenever shit gets tough. And a woman who has too many options will walk away. This is my opinion. This is just my opinion. And this is exactly why your man that was on the boat said mm -hmm. they're going to be single. Yeah. Because they are rich and, and nine times out of ten, I'm men sure. want women that listen. That's all they want. I'm in the woman that listen. Don't no no Danny. I'm I wanna hear this. Let's go. I wanna hear this. I wanna hear this. Men, men want women that listen and women sometimes, not all the times, with that much success and power will not listen to a man. Okay, but think about it. Men, men want women that listen. It's like it What you think about that, young, young? Well, men want a woman who listen? You know what I mean? I think men want a woman that long term, if you got a plan, they're going to go with it and not be like, oh, why are we doing this? Why can't we do this? Why can't mm -hmm. we do that? You know what I'm saying? I agree. Cause I, I think I think what some of the women might be missed because they were so like, oh, whoa, mm -hmm. is like they want. If we're talking about listening, talking about follow, just follow me and follow my um, career path, mm -hmm. or my passion, oh, guidance, yeah. my guidance. Mm -hmm. That's what he's trying to say. Mm -hmm. He kind of just said the real like direct shit about it. Mm -hmm. That's why they're kind of like, why is he talking like this? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. She gotta listen, ladies. You gotta listen. If I'm making this much money, I want to come home and you about to shut the fuck up. I don't want to hear your mouth. Thank you. You know, you got the Birkin, you got this, Thank that. You. you know, go call your rich friend, go on a vacation, but don't bother me. So if I'm taking care of you, what the fuck you think I want you to talk? Shut the fuck up when I get home. Take my shoes off. Listen to me. If nobody eat my pussy, shut the fuck up. Oh. I got a lot of When a woman is thinking about me, <laughs> maybe. What are you talking about now, nah, bro? I'm breaking your heart. I bet she talking about if she was a rich shorty. Oh, that's wild. Like, take off her shoes and shit. Mm -hmm. Don't mm -hmm. don't pinion ain't nothing. Or have her feet. me to date a man like that like it, I'm not speaking for all women but for me personally mm -hmm. a working man a man that's about his shit a man that's on the same type of time as me is inspiring to me I'm like damn I gotta pipe up too like I can't y'all both it was the call up we y'all both unemployed that's the same type of time too <laughs> type of time we on baby <laughs> bro titties, let's go <laughs> like like what would be like yo I'm with a man that's on the same type of time as me Alright, what if he's a hustler too that's just currently in a place? You know what I'm saying? It's, it should not make no damn sense sometimes. I think people just have this like ideal thing that they had that's stuck in their head mm -hmm. and they just can't get past it. Right. I can't. I don't masculinity in a minute. Yeah, but I don't also want to shit on the people that have or feel like they kind of dated. I like masculinity in a man. Mm -hmm. Do we not like femininity in a woman? Word. Nah, they, they going to try to be like us. Mm -hmm. See, because the last girl, the Danny girl, she tried to switch it and like be like, well, if I could do that, roles could be reversed. I'm like, nah, people still like those certain type of but characteristic just, traits that each okay. gender has. You know what I'm saying? But it's the thing, too. You see how she said in that scenario, she'd be talking like this mm -hmm. and that, right? You already not respecting them. Yeah. So it's not going to last. Yeah, because you kind of changing what you usually do mm -hmm. based on who you with. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Hey, man. Like, imagine if you did, like, a big, like, a big, like, 6'5", 300-pound girl. And now when there's something going on, go, go to the door, go check. Because she big. 
Cause she gonna be like, yo. She, <laughs> oh, get your big ass and see if we got the yo. <laughs> she gonna be like, yo, this is not sexy to me. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Even if she is bigger than you, you know what I'm saying? Still a woman, you know what I'm saying? Hey, man. We all have our roles. Somebody and pick them up because I will say too, I dated a guy. I was great financially at the time. He was kind of going through some shit and I'd never shit on him. Like I paid his phone bill and helped him out with a bunch of stuff. And then that was the man that ended up putting me on my first report. So it's like, I can never shit. Why do women, if a woman pay your phone bill, (laughs) she will always, always mention that shit. Don't let them play that 85. (laughs) Nah. It, yo, fellas, fellas. Don't let them pay that 85. If you can pay your phone bill, pay your phone bill. <laughs> Do not make a woman pay your phone bill because she will bring that shit up in the argument every fucking oh, time. Man. That 85, nigga, that shit. Dog. Oh, look on that man ever but as far as right now like in the working thing and coming home and you there and all of this i cannot do that i don't want you i don't want you in my crib 24 7. let's just be honest (laughs) playing the game no a woman do not a, a, a woman that, that is confident in herself do not want to be with a man that they can just tell them what to do and, at all. and throw them around and disrespect them. You don't want that. If you want a man, you want someone, regardless of how much money he makes, he's still, yeah, supposed, to, he's still supposed to be your protector. He's yeah. supposed to be the person that you can look on to to protect you and to, and, and to show you certain things. So why would you want a man that you come home and be like, nigga, what's up? You sucking this pussy right now. <laughs> Like, nobody wants that. You know, you know, you know, that daddy girl might do that. You have to still put it in context. Rico, if Rico brought this up, it's a certain type of woman who is a very high earner. So, she, okay, let's let's make the assumption that she's not going to listen. Let's make the assumption that she does want to boss him around. Let's make the assumption that she is going to want to be the dominant figure in that house. And so, in those cases, that's how it's going to be. But at the end, this is what he also said. And then I switched to Liberty Mutual and saved hundreds. I know, exactly. We are all modern. We sell modern furniture and decor. Stop paying us for this goddamn thing. Oh, yeah. Those women are going to be alone. Well, you can't say that. Not if they don't get their Haitian man. No, I can't say that. No, no, no. Haitian man. Remain a grown man. Oh, yeah, like, no matter how much money I have, that's like, he's gonna pull up to the crib. Okay, I'm in the crib right now. She's out where she's making the money. Let me make sure. Man, let me make sure she's good. A real man gonna make you feel protected. I done mess with men and I'm up right now. Like, I said, oh, I went to be up and I act like I'm broke, but don't fuck with me. I done mess with men that's literally not really like. That stuff is not together, but they do what a man is supposed to do. Yeah, I feel yeah, protected. Yeah. You know, I feel like I have a man next to me. It's not all about money. You that's put it in your head, it's all about money until you end it. You're like, oh, shit. It's yeah, not yeah, all about money. Yeah, can I go? And that's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Imagine. Right, you with a rich nigga, right? Mm-hmm. Some niggas come to jump you. Jump him. He run away, leave you. <laughs> I'm sorry, babe. Security wasn't here. Couldn't risk it. <laughs> <laughs> and then you start yelling and say you gotta give us some be giving some money. Yo, let's get a new purse. <laughs> oh, all right. It won't happen it won't happen again. What you think Shoddy gonna say from that? I feel like she's still not gonna respect her. But she gonna stay with him. Yeah. A man who even gets a woman who a man who has nothing or bare minimum who gets a woman who has a lot is a fucking man. Yeah. And that's why she likes him and that's why he's in that house. Cause she can't boss him around and it don't matter how much money she got. She knows she can't boss him around. That's why he can play Call of Duty all day and say, okay, he's almost like a pimp. You got the money? Cool. Yeah. Now look, I'm about to fuck you right now and then after that, we are gonna go to eat and you gonna pay that STK. That's a man. You know what I'm <laughs> I ain't never heard it put like that before. He's almost like a pimp, damn man, man. He says he pays his call of duty. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, where did you get the money? (laughs) Cool. Let's, Let's smash. 
Cook me some food. Uh huh. He said, "Let's go he to go STK." Back and get tomorrow. He said, "Let's go to STK." You pay me. Out here, mad. We gonna do Frisco, baby. Oh, uh, STK about to open up soon, though. Where's that by? Oh, uh, you know what Fire and Ice is downtown. But well, back. What's that? What's that? Like, nah, that's Newberry back. Street. Yeah, yeah, back, back. Uh, yeah, right over. It's like right across the street. Gotcha. But you know they basically turn everything downtown. Oh, that's that's you that he has. Oh. Unnecessary, bro. How the fuck you a man? Everybody, that's what I'm saying. Let me know. So the way you a man is by fixing things. Yeah, fixing them. Listen, fixing them. I like you know what I'm saying. Like, oh, just break the light and fix it tomorrow. <laughs> right. See that man shit I did. Right. You know what I'm saying? But it's like, see, this is the thing. I was just thinking, right? Like, so all the things she just said, it's like it's a man, it's a man, it's a man. <laughs> My fool, that bitch. So I'm saying, like, if you was talking like yeah. that, yo, I need you to get that food, mm -hmm. these dishes, mm -hmm. mop the floor, and then you can fuck around type shit. Right. That's kind of. Is that, is, that, is that a crazy thing to say to me? Personally, I was. <laughs> but I'm saying, but I'm saying, if you gonna come at me about being a man, mm -hmm. then I can come at you about being a woman. That is true. That is true. Is still strong. <laughs> I just want to ask you one favorite point. So are we, are we, are we, are we, are we, are we uh, making standards for what roles are? Because it is enough. Because you said, heck, my, I see my mother hang stealing fans and all that. So are we talking about a role? Is that what the. No, no, I'm trying to. No, I'm not going to say that. I'm trying to understand. Wait, wait, wait. Because you, you said, how are you a man? Yeah. And you <laughs> named a few things what you feel a man should be doing. Mm -hmm. So you said, you ain't. Change the light switch. You ain't hung a ceiling fan. You ain't mowed the lawn. Hey, Bill. So is that what a man should be doing? Is that First, if, if you're not see this is the thing. If you're not paying a bill, and you haven't done any of those other things that I named, what are you doing? Again, this is not a statement. My question this again. is not a statement. My this question is a, again is: Is that I the role of a man? And I don't know. That's why I'm, this is a question. So the answer you just said that's what the role of a man <laughs> was. Being a man, and this is the problem with some people. They try to I base about to say the, let's say, like, the status of someone by monetary value. But a man is a man because if a man can walk out of his house day by day and get respect from everybody he comes across, that is a man. That's a man that has an intangible power. You understand what that is? Because there's some people that you could, he could have $10 million. I could have $100,000. People respect me more than him. So who is the real man? The person who is respected. So the person who demands and gets the respect is a man, regardless of how much money he has. Regardless of if he puts up a uh, light switch, if he puts up a, a ceiling fan, whatever. He has enough power over you to tell you what to do when you have more money than him and you still do it. That is a man. I think he hit it. I think he hit it with a good point. Let me say this. Like he protects you, and you still the one that's paying the rent. You still the one that's paying for the yeah. call bill. But a real man gonna remain a real man. The period. It doesn't right. where you get him from. You could go get him from the the fuck. You could get him from Africa. A real man gonna remain a real man. He gonna do all this thing because he knows I'm being a real man to my woman. But when he time to tell you to shut the fuck up as a man, right. if you can't do that, that's not a man. And I would even go pick him up and a fucking worst thing on my shoe if I had to. You know what I'm saying? There's men that's everywhere. It doesn't matter. So a man but can't like, tell him to shut the fuck up. A man can't tell him to shut the fuck up. If he can't, that's a problem. Mm. But okay. yeah, man, that was um, eight at the table, man. Let us know what y'all think about that. Make sure y'all like. Make sure y'all share. Make sure y'all subscribe, man. We had it.